Mina and today I'd like to show you Ljubljana Castle. Ljubljana Castle was first mentioned at the beginning of 12th century but was rebuilt in 15th. Some of the features were added even later. There are many picturesque paths leading to Ljubljana Castle, but it can also quickly be reached by funicular railway. Today we can find here various exhibitions, museum of puppetry, we can enjoy guided tours or a private castle experience. There is a unique possibility of getting to know castle history through time machine and many more. The castle's outlook tower and walls offer some of the most beautiful views of the city. The tower was demolished in 1813 after the French occupation. Later it became a home to city fire watchmen and a signal tower in case of fire. Here you can see a number of historical rooms such as the prison, the chapel of St. George and a video presentation room called Virtual Castle.
The exhibition Slovenian History is divided into six parts that cover the entire known history of Slovenia. It starts 200,000 years ago by the earliest traces of human presence in that area and ends with events following Slovenia's independence in 1991. The Museum of Puppetry is a tiny museum that will show you the history and the rich tradition of puppeteering in Slovenia. You can experience a fun adventure called Escape Castle, where you can get to know the history of Ljubljana through five tests, have a lot of fun and just maybe save the dragon that you can find on Dragon Bridge, in the town coat of arms and the flag. Ljubljana Castle also houses a cafe, a nightclub and two restaurants. One of the restaurants is called Nagradu. And here you can try traditional Slovenian cuisine. You can visit several cultural events, family entertainment, dance evenings and open-air film screenings in summer. I really hope you liked my video about Ljubljana Castle. If you did, please press thumbs up and if you would like to know more about Ljubljana and Slovenia, you can subscribe below. Thanks! Bye!